thought. Of course. Oh, do you guys see in the back? That would be cool. I wanted to give a positive message to every target out there that feels like they're alone in this. Um, there are some tools that you guys need to use in order to get through this. This, uh, this will test your, uh, your patience. It will, uh, it will determine your ability to, uh, stay focused. You will be constantly pushed to the limit and you need to put that limit further each time. You need to stay strong. You need to remember that you're 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 the one that they're after. You're the famous one. You're the threat to them. They are desperate to get you out of the system because you do not fit with the system. You're a direct threat to it. I don't know why they think that I'm a threat, but like this is what I, I've been getting out of this. Apparently, like uh, a bunch of people end up on this list for no reason. But anyway. Um, dude, uh, like even if you, the, a lot of people are gonna like struggle to like why am I being followed? Why am I being followed? And like a lot of people are gonna are gonna actually tell you that's ridiculous. Why would you be followed? Who would be following you? Why would they do that? It takes money to do that. Why would it, anybody in the right mind do that? Don't be fooled. These stalkers don't just stalk one person. When they did what they're done with it, what they're supposed to do with one person, they move on to the next target. And the ones that are helping, the ones that are local, basically, are just friends and family of these stalkers. Basically, they're just receiving texts to like, okay, you need to cross the street now. Okay, you need to, uh, to start driving, he's coming. Uh, okay, you need to uh, like uh, go to this store because he might go get smokes. Or okay, you just need to go get gas at this store. Or he's turning there. Like uh, as a target, uh, you are being reported every single second of the day, and everything you do is documented. It is going to be used against you in an eventual uh, situation that will destroy you. If they can prove you to be a, a, a psychopath or whatever, they will. And that's what they're trying to do, is prove that you're not meant for the streets. You're a danger to society. You are like, you're crazy. You need to be locked up. Like that's what they're trying to do. And like for a target, uh, of course you're you're feeling like, oh my gosh, like nobody's believing me. This is the end of my life. Like it's not worth it, bitch. Your life is worth it. You are stronger than you let yourself believe you are. You can walk right up to your stalker, smile him dead in the face, and he will walk away. You could walk up to any single human being in your community. And keep your head high 
and they will walk away. You smile at them, they hate that. You tell them to have a wonderful day. Now for somebody that hates you, to be told to have a wonderful day, that just like, the feeling sucks. <laughs> I know, like, somebody that I hate talks to me and tells me, like, I, I, I'm not perfect, like, I have, like, defaults, and, uh, uh I can't look in the eye, at, uh, like, of somebody that I hate, and, uh, like, I can't, I can't, it, my, my face says it all, so, uh, but I don't hate many people, I don't hate for no reason. I don't, like, I don't promote judgment or hatred or labeling. I think it's, it's first of all, that time that you waste doing that will never be given back. And trust me, you could spend a lot of time wasting your life judging people. truth is, it's not worth it. When you're doing that, when you're like playing into their games, you're doing exactly what they want you to. And eventually, they're gonna get to you. They're gonna get deeper and deeper into you. They will affect every aspect of your life if they can. Every. Don't be surprised if like, uh, uh, like, if you're constantly seeing cops on your street or, like, a uh, fireman or uh, ambulances for no reason, uh, or city trucks, um, they're not coincidences. They're not. Coincidence, in this case, is not your friend. Okie doke. Oh, and for any targets uh, that feel like uh, they need to uh, talk to somebody and uh, they can't, uh, like, nobody in their surrounding, like, understands or whatever, um, 
like you can always leave comments and like uh, whatnot on my channel. Uh, I will uh, I will read them all. Um, I don't want to give bad advice to anybody because this is a really touchy subject and everybody is going through it the wrong, uh, the, the like in different ways, and like it doesn't affect everybody the same way. And uh, I don't I, I don't want to tell like uh, somebody that might or might not need medication to stop or to continue taking meds. I'm not a doctor. So, um, uh, I of course uh, decided not to continue with uh, my treatment because um, it was clear to me that uh, these people weren't going to go away if I <laughs> continued to get pills. It was just stupid that I didn't even think that that was going to work. So, um, yeah. I'm done with meds, I'm done with doctors, I'm done with people telling me that this uh, is going on in my brain. That basically, I'm not the only one that's actually going through this and that it's normal and that doctors can help, that they've already helped. Now let me tell you something. If any target describes this issue, this specific issue, to a professional, Guess what the professional is ordered to say? They have obligations in this. If they don't partake in it, they might lose their professional license. So, both ways, it, like, their risk, doctors have to risk their um, their careers for this. Of course, they're, they're protected, but like, if this was ever like found out, it could potentially ruin a lot of careers. Guys, some kings.
in my life, I am, if you ask me, like, I am so blessed. I have so many things to be thankful for. Um, like, there's no reason for, like, there's no reason for me to, to ever have to worry about something. There's no, like, rational reason. So, I mean, to waste my time looking for one isn't going to happen. I'm focusing on other things right now that are going to take everything that's going on around me and expose, uh, expose it. And a lot of people are going to get arrested, and a lot of people are going to go to jail, and a lot of people won't be driving Teslas and their BMWs and Mercedes, because uh, you can't drive those in jail. So. So this client was like, oh, I thought you were supposed to leave the, the lunch at the door. But he prepaid his order and didn't leave any tip. So like, I was like, uh, and he was like, hey, wait, I forgot to give you your tip. But like, you're expecting me to drop off your come on at the door and now you want to give me tip? You're a fucking cheapskate, for real. Like this, that, oh, that's good. Bref. <laughs> that was like the cheapest thing I've ever witnessed. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, God bless his soul.
So this kid uh, waited for me to arrive and uh, cross the road with his ball. And now that I'm leaving, he goes inside. I'm just glad everybody's seeing exactly what I'm seeing. This, for this reason, like, uh, again, to, uh, I'm speaking to uh, targets like myself. Um, guys, uh, if you feel alone, like, notice, like, I'm not alone right now. I have viewers that see exactly what I'm seeing. I am far from being alone. I have people that are actually stalking me that are viewing these videos. And I, I can see that. I can trace them. So, uh... You, you, you're never alone in this world. Like, you're not off the grid. And if you have friends and family and they don't understand or, like, you know, don't push this on this. Just know that you are able to get a hold of yourself and make it through another day. And eventually, the people surrounding you will witness what's going on. They will see it with their own eyes and they will not be able to deny you what's going on. You just have to hang in there and be patient and not give in to like what they're trying to get you to do. They're trying to make you look like a lunatic, a psychopath, a danger to society, a menace to public, 